not, for I am not here under this pine tree. The balmy air of spring whispers through the sweet grass. The stars sparkle. The whippoorwill calls. But thou, thou grievest, while my soul lies rapturous in the blessed nirvana of eternal light. Go to my husband. Tell him. Tell him that my love for him, no less than my love for you, brought about my destiny. That through flesh, I won spirit. And through spirit, peace. There is no marriage in heaven, but there is love. Atmosphere of a zoo. <laughs> All ye young debaters over the doctrine of the soul's immortality, I who lie here was the village atheist, talkative, contentious, versed in all the arguments of the infidels. But then, long sickness, I cough myself to death. I read the poems of Jesus, and they lighted a torch, a torch of hope and intuition and desire. Listen to me. Listen to me, ye, ye who live through the senses, and you who listen through the senses only. Immortality is not a gift. It is an achievement that only those who strive mightily shall possess it. Reaching. Oh. what they mean, and you may never know, and we may never tell you. Those flashes in your soul, like lambent lightning on snowy clouds, at midnight when the moon is full. Not where the stairway turns in the dark a hooded figure shriveled under a flowing cloak. Not yellow eyes in the, in the room at night, staring out from a surface of cobweb gray. And not the flap of a condor wing 
when the roar of life in your ears begins as a sound heard never before. But on a sunny afternoon by a country road where purple ragweeds bloom along a straggling fence and the field is gleaned and the air is still to see against the sunlight something black like a blot with an iris rim. That is the sign to eyes with second sight. And that I saw. Monkeys. <laughs> school <laughs> in Spoon River they tried to get me to drop Confucius for Jesus <laughs> I could have done no worse than if I tried to get them to drop Jesus for Confucius <laughs> for without warning as if it were a prank sneaking up behind me Harry Wiley the minister's son caved my ribs into my lungs with a blow of his fist now, I will never have to sleep with my ancestors in Pekin. And no children shall worship at my grave. <laughs> Lizards. <laughs> I went to the dances at Chandlerville and played snap out at Winchester one night. <laughs> we changed partners, driving home in the moonlight, middle of March, and then I found Davis. We were married and lived together for 70 years, <laughs> enjoying working, raising the 12 children, eight of whom we lost ere I had reached the age of 60. <laughs> I spun, I wove. I kept the house. I nursed the sick. I made the garden. And for holiday, rambled over the fields where sang the larks. <laughs> and by Spoon River gathering many a shell and many a flower and medicinal herb, shouting to the wooded hills, singing to the green valleys. At 96, I had lived enough. That is all, and passed to a sweet repose. What is this I hear of sorrow, weariness, anger, discontent, and droopings, hopes? Oh, degenerate sons and daughters. Life is too strong for you. It takes life to love life. Hmm. 
vibrating molecules of sunshine. Any responses? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Pretty wild. Any thoughts from you guys? So interesting how different it was than oh, yeah. the rehearsal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So interesting. Very. Very different. Really Found wonderful all kinds vibes. Of stuff. And that was yeah. the first time through, there, it, there didn't seem to be any um, uh, people trying to go twice. And the second time through, I would see people think, uh, you know, <laughs> yes. it was their turn. And they yes. Yes, and how did how uh, and how did they handle when yes. uh, when you know several people started to go at once and then somebody took the lead and and that was you know that process was important for us because um, them not knowing who was going and when they were going and having to keep track of you know whether 15 people had gone and, and where to go again and stuff like that. Well, everybody was quiet, right? They didn't know who was coming out. Nobody knew. Nobody tried to go. I didn't see yeah. anyone try to do it at the same time the first time. And the second time I did, yeah. so I think that's interesting. Yeah, so it, it is interesting. There were several times in the first one where people started to, uh, to make the impulse, but they, so. it, you know. <laughs> and Alan came up here towards the end. He's like, a, we were vibrating. So I was like, I think that's the last one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I figured you'd wait a few beats, and if nobody's <laughs> those and they, um, and so you know, they they know that it, it's very likely a couple people are going to try to go at once, and so then there's a, the question of uh, of one of the tools that we were working on is called a feeling of ease. And so, you know, they're like, okay, they're ready to go when somebody starts, and they need to try to, you know, embrace the moment, find the feeling of ease, and settle in, and you know, and, and yield, and um, not get to, try not to get thrown off. And when sometimes when the person starts and they realize somebody else is going to start, and they're, they're like, you know, part of them would go, oh no, uh, and it might throw them off. So maintaining their focus and, and stuff like that. All these uh, tools that just you know the improvisational nature of this, and as we said before, you know they some people were doing completely different tools and th things like that uh, from anything they they've never done it before. They're just trying brand new ideas, so what they did, didn't know themselves. What did you throw at them that they hadn't expected? Didn't you didn't you say before you brought them in that you had you had given them a little bit of a of a twist that they weren't expecting? 
um, they were going to give each other twists, which they weren't expecting. I mean, these all these things they called out. The transitions, the transitions, the monologues, the, those were, you know, we never knew what was coming in. It was slither, totally lizard twists, new ones. And, you know, they were, they just completely made those up on the spot. And wow. <laughs> There's a, there are uh, certain principles that are at play in terms of composition, and uh, everyone's invited to uh, make sure they find all the different levels and layers on the, on the stage and uh, move, keep moving and changing, and uh, the trying to settle all at one time, uh, knowing when to begin and how to hold the, the moments and then make shifts, very quick shifts and things like that. It's uh, exciting for actors, I think, to be able to turn stuff on and off, that an actor shouldn't ever have to stay in a, in a weird state, you know, during lunch or in between, in between takes or when they're changing the lens or something like that. Um, we want to train to be like a boxer to just turn it on full force and then turn it off and this forces that you know they're doing completely ridiculous things and they're dropping totally into something else going you know right into something else and um, and asking them to play against the lines or against what you think the story is about or play with it take a tool that doesn't make any sense with this story and do it, and all of a sudden you find a whole new story that you didn't see in the in the dialogue before. So those were some of the things that we were working on. Any thoughts from you guys? You want to share? It's a lot harder to relax into it with an audience here. Uh -huh. Something mm -hmm. I've personally been working on for all weekend, and then all of a sudden it's like, no. Yeah. And that became a focus toggling back and forth between the other focus. Great. So one of the cool things about Mr. Chekhov's work is he doesn't even want us to relax. Um, would you guys relax, please? Is that like really relax? Like make yourself really relax? <laughs> is this very interesting to you? Really? How much would you pay to watch a bunch of relaxed actors? That's very relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> the audience isn't going to pay $175 a seat to watch a relaxed actor. <laughs> so we actually don't even want relax, which is why Mr. Chekhov chooses the word ease. He does want us to be at ease. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that charge that we get when, we're, when it goes like this, it's adrenaline that's designed and divinely gifted to us to help us spring into a peak performance and to exceed our human limitations. Mm -hmm. So that charge is actually a benefit. It's a benefit. It's not you can't get into the zone without it, but more athletes more frequently get into the zone when they have the charge. So we get the opportunity to call it um, nervousness, but we also could call it excitement. Mm -hmm. So, so everyone say this, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Right, now say, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Good, which one do you want to choose? Excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, yeah. So from there you can spring forward and realize that that's a divine gift actually to help you rise uh, to a greater occasion. Mm -hmm. The, the um, opportunity is to learn how to move and speak with ease while you got that charge going. So it doesn't take over. That's That's it. what was starting That's to happen it. with me as it was taking over. Right, right. And, the, and you know how those things you focus on get more powerful? So if you take your hand and, and focus it, make it freaked out, right? And now we start yelling at ourselves, stop it, stop it. Why are you so nervous about it, right? So what do we do? We try to stop it, try to mm -hmm. stop it. You guys can do this too. Try to stop that shake, right? Try to stop that shake. No, now what happened to your whole body? <laughs> your whole body shaking. Right, so we're focusing on that, it's growing, Yeah. right? So now do this, let that shake, but put all your attention on the other hand and let it move easily through the space. Yeah, do it even for a second. Oh. Oh. I can't do it. I can't, can't. <laughs> I can't do it both. 